Hi, this is Shep Inspire. I am so excited to talk to you today about the three benefits of looking at who you spend your time with. Did you know time is a non-renewable substance? It is something that once you waste it, it is gone forever. You cannot get that time back. And I say, this is what I say, the three things that you do with your time, you either you waste it, you spend it, or you invest it. And it's so important that you do the third one, the latter, invest that time into people who are going to bring you a good return. You invest your time like you invest your money. You want a return on your time. You want to make sure that your time is productive. And I'm going to give you the three benefits of looking at who you spend most of your time with. Number one, you become like the people you hang around in these three areas. Listen closely. Financially, mentally, and physically. You become just like the people you hang around in those three areas. Financially, you are going to not be able to rise above the financial status of the people that you hang around on a regular basis. Mentally, you will only you won't be challenged mentally by the people that you hang around on a regular basis. Your mental level will 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 uh, mirror theirs and physically your physical attributes, the physical body will not be will only line up to those people that you hang around on a regular basis. And why is that? Because association brings on assimilation. You will become like these people. You will become just like the people you hang around on a regular basis. Number two, you need to hang out with people who are more gifted than you. If you want to be more successful in anything that you do, you need to find out who is doing what you want to do the best that they could do it. You need to find out who's the best at that thing. And when you find out who the best is, then you hang out with that person because he's better than you. And if you hang out with that person, that person will cause your level of competency to rise and you will become better. And better. You don't play basketball with people that you can beat. If you want to be a professional basketball player, you play with people that that are better than you so that your game can get better. And that is with every aspect of your life. You hang out with people who are on a higher level to you so that you can actually rise to their level because you will become like the people that you hang around on a regular basis. Number three, the people that you hang around on a regular basis shape your habits. They shape your reality. The more you talk to them, the more you interact with them, you will be able, you will believe what they believe. The things that you say, the things that you do, the things that you believe. When you hang out with people who are chickens, then you're going to act like a chicken. If you hang out with eagles, you're going to be able to soar like eagles. So the people that you hang around on a regular basis shape your habits, which also shapes your reality. A man cannot prosper beyond his ability to think. And you will not be able to prosper beyond your ability to think if you only hanging out with people are thinking on the level that you are on. You have to hang out with people who are thinking higher, bigger and more greater things than you are in order for you to be able to excel. So these are the three benefits of hanging out with people who inspire you who uplift, who motivate, who give you incentive to become better. Here we go again. Number one, you become just like the three people that you hang around financially, mentally, and physically. Number two, 
You need to hang out with people who are more gifted than you, who are better than you, who who can help you to raise your game because they are so good. Number three, you need to hang out with people. These people work out on a regular basis. So when, when you with them, they're health conscious. They're going to eat properly. They're going to they're going to do what is necessary to bring you to the next level of who you want to be. Because your habits shape your reality. I hope you get this. You, we need to examine the people that we hang around on a regular basis. We cannot and should not hang out with people who keep us in our comfort zone. If we do, we need to examine it and we need to change it so that we can become better, stronger and more equipped to do the things that we want to do and that we want to accomplish in our lives. I hope you get this. I hope you got it. If so, your life will change dramatically. You get it? You got it? Good. Have a blessed day.